Um, so your boy, Sage and Damo, didn't speak to the media for the second straight game. You know what I'm talking about, right? I actually don't right now. I, Austin Reeves? No, your boy, ice in his veins. Oh, I do Mr. know. Mr. Snitch. Oh, yeah, D-Lo. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, I seen it. Um, <laughs> yeah, D-Lo, D-Lo declined to speak to the media for the second game. Yep, and then uh, D-Lo takes things out of his bio. Yeah. So D-Lo takes Lakers out of his out of his bio, all that stuff like that. Yep. And instead of talking to the media, he goes on his podcast. He'll stay in a pick and roll when it comes to the game. So if I can tap into pick and rolls and recognize how they guard me, it allows me to control the game because I can get to what I know is working or might not work. It's like playing the game within the game, but I'm in my space. I ain't just catching and shooting. Mm. I'm in y'all space. I miss. Y'all took me out the game. Y'all just took me out the game. If I'm missing, if that's all I'm doing is catching and shooting. But if I'm getting to do what I know I can do, <clears throat> which honestly, I feel like that's when I'm at my best, when I just have a roller and a shooter somehow, some way around me. Just a roller and a shooter. Whatever else in other spots. I get into my flow state in a pick and roll. It seems that he's disgruntled with Darvin Ham's decision making his role on the Lakers, being on the bench, et cetera, et cetera. And he's taking it to his platform to voice those opinions. Well, he just said that's how he's best utilized, right? In his opinion? Mm-hmm. He is not happy with his benching in the way Darvin Ham is utilizing. That's mm-hmm. the context of the full clip. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, to the Lakers guys, we're gonna lie to you first. What's going on? These role players talking like starters. Damo ready. He ready to have a cuss off. <laughs> I said, go ahead. Go ahead and take first place, gang. Ready. <laughs> my guy. He ready to go up in the totals right now. My, my mother freaking <laughs> go ahead, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. There is a bit of validity to what he's saying, and I understand it. I understand the frustration with Darvin Ham. I understand wanting to pluck the lump. I get it. But if we're about to sit here and act like you weren't given that opportunity in last year's playoffs and you were trash, if we want to act like we weren't, you wasn't given the chance to be given AD as a roller and Reeves as a shooter or whoever as a shooter, and you legit did pull ups instead of giving the ball to the roller who's a 20 something point per game scorer, best player on the court. Then wh- why are you surprised your role got reduced to just, hey, man, sit in the corner, catch and shoot? Because you were not hitting AD effectively. LeBron James is the only player to effectively, continuously, consistently give Anthony Davis the ball on a roll. So to sit here, not talk to the media, and run to your podcast to basically say, I mean, if I was able to play my game, I, I feel like I'll be better. This ain't your team, d when we gave you a chance for it to be your team, you squandered it. Now you're playing with LeBron and AD. Who wants to be the shooter? You have a roller. What are we doing? I'm so confused. What do you want? You want a new team. Go on, go on get, man. Go on get. I don't go on get. I've made it my effort this year to not be on the trade D low train. Out because it's gonna start a slippery slope. In a rabbit hole you can't get out of. Once you say trade them once, you'll continue to keep saying trade them. So I made it my point this year. I'm not going to sit there and blame a D-Lo and say trade them. No. But, buddy, I promise you, if you want to go, get. Go get. Because we it ain't, ain't going to hurt. I've already went on record. I would rather keep the white boy. Sorry. I, I'd rather keep Reeves. I would rather keep the white boy. I said it anyway. <laughs> So please go get. <laughs> I had to sit there. Yeah, go on. Jesus. That nigga got me. Uh, that nigga got me. That nigga got me. Hey, there were no curse words. Yeah. 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 Hey, I was at first. I was focused on that, mm-hmm. and then you said the white boy. Okay. W X. Oh man, I I wasn't competing. So hey, I'm speaking Try. organically Try. here. Nice. Sorry, no cussing. <laughs> It's not, hard, it's not hard to turn it off, but I don't want to fucking turn it off. Look, man. It's the only time I can curse for it. Look, man, to be honest. W control. To be honest. <laughs> to be honest. I'm going to be so serious, man. Damo wasn't really that wrong. I don't want to exactly echo anything he would say. All I would say is to give D'Lo a little bit more leeway, 
perhaps outside of Anthony Davis, we haven't really had that good of a roller for his tenure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been honestly shitters at the five. <laughs> shitters, shitters at the back of five outside of Anthony Davis. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't liked any of our backup bigs since the 2020 eras. Um, even right now, like Jackson Hayes, I'm sorry, but if we're running an offense through Jackson Hayes, D Lo, and whatever, then that brings me to point number two. Which, to be honest, is just never optimal when we're trying to play through D'Lo, considering we have another guard that can do what he he does, and we have LeBron James as well as getting Anthony Davis post touches. So when you have those three things going on, unfortunately, someone's going to have a more limited role. And it's unfortunate that um, his is so limited and triggering for him. But ultimate, ultimately, D'Lo, that's just tough, bro. I, I mean... I've been active. I've been defending D'Lo even in those posts in, in that playoff run Domo refers to. I even say, yo, y'all are forgetting. It was just one bad series. Like it's four games, to be honest. It weren't even bad series because we got swept. It's four games. Outside the four games, D'Lo was fantastic, in my personal opinion. Not fantastic in the sense of a superstar, but fantastic in terms of like what more do you want out of your role playing point guard? But now, I mean, if he's unhappy, obviously pack him up. You know the rules, even with coaches. They're unhappy. You lost the locker room. Get out. I don't want you here, especially we're trying to compete, especially when we can just go out there and get another sniper. If there was one thing about the Lakers that I cannot stand, so we're not experts at anything. But, I mean, I guess to wrap it all around, Dama was right and D'Lo's right, too. He is getting underutilized. It's just kind of like, you saying it? Like, if Austin Reeves was saying it, I ain't going to lie. I have a, if I have a if question. Rui Hachimura was saying it, oh my God, he, he's just right. <laughs> but 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 D'Angelo Russell saying it, it's like, I guess, bro. Um, real quick for my Laker guys, do y'all think uh, the Lakers are en route for another like trade deadline blow up like last season? Are you kidding me? It's a LeBron team, yeah. <laughs> it's a LeBron team. It's it's expected. Damn. Do I want it to be the case? No. Uh, and I know that's going to like shock a lot of Lakers fans. That's going to piss a lot of Lakers fans off. And Damo, check me if I need to be checked. I look at this roster. Hell, I even play with this roster on 2K. And I'm like, it, 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 it's actually trivia on how this team sucks. <laughs> it's, it's actually a trivia on how all the 3 and D wings, plus LeBron at point guard, plus 80 at the five, plus a stretch big and or athletic big that can come in and play however you need is not good. But um, it, they're not working well. Um, you know, there's a mysterious thing in L.A. where shooters can't shoot anymore. So shout out to Malik Beasley, who's like tearing it up now. Right. But um, yeah, yeah. People are going to have to get traded. Um, Dom, Domo's guy, Torian Prince, is going to get packed probably um, due to, <laughs> I think, just tradable contract. Uh, so just Cam, to... <laughs> Reddish, Cam Reddish may have some value. Uh, D'Angelo Russell definitely will have some value. And unless something mind boggling, I think the three players that obviously are going to be here are Austin Reeves, LeBron, and uh, Anthony Davis. I pray to God we don't trade Rui, but nobody's really off the block at this point. Um, I would say no. I don't think this is going to be a situation where you trade the entire roster blows up. I think Rui and D'Lo are out of here for two different reasons. For the same for the same end goal, but two different ways of getting there. Um, Both of them are being misutilized, which is causing them to not like their roles. Mm-hmm. But one actually played himself out of – Utilization, the other is just being shafted by a lump on the head. So, but in the end, both of them are going to get traded. Those are the only two that honestly I'm expecting at the deadline to be moved. If Christian, if I wake up by the deadline and Christian Wood isn't a Laker, I'm more mad about Rui than Christian Wood. I'm, I'm not mad about Rui because we have I mean, a abundance of forwards. Rui. We have an abundance of forwards, and he's genuinely just getting the short end of the stick. With mm. Christian, like, I can understand why there are nights, even though it doesn't make sense, I understand why there are nights where Rui just isn't playing. Because we have Braun, uh, Braun Prince, Vanderbilt, uh, 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 Reddish. That's four guys alone right there that can play the three. Three small ball fours for three of those guys. And that's not even including Rui. So that's four guys in front of Rui on any given night that are going to be getting minutes over him. I understand that. You only can name one big man on this team that deserves to get more minutes over Christian Wood. Only one. But for whatever reason, Christian Wood is being super misutilized and not being put in rotation. And when he is given consistent minutes, he has been super effective. And that's something we need is another big man. So I will be hot about that. But 
Yeah, uh, I, I would not be surprised if I woke up and half the team was gone or majority of the team was gone like last year. I just mm. don't think it's necessary, nor I'm not going to expect it. And Let put me, a, put up into it, is Darvin Ham going to be the coach of this team? By the end not of the next season. year. Yes, by the end of the season, By the yes. end of the season, uh, still By the end of the season, yes. There's not enough, in my opinion, there's not any good options that can just come in in the middle of the season and just steer the ship in the right direction. Uh, you would have to give a coach a full offseason to implement their system and get a hold of things and let them know what you want to do moving forward. You can't just go and bring Mike D'Antoni into this team midway through the season and think things are going to be fine. You can't go get Doc Rivers. And these are just two coaches that I've heard people throw names around just to come in midway through the season and yeah. steer the ship the right way. At that point, you would just be relying on LeBron to be Bill Russell, a uh, player coach in that sense. So, yeah, no, uh, Ham is here for the rest of the season. Let me um, let me just say, D'Lo, you you confirmed everything that everybody thought, and I don't I don't know what happened in the middle of your career. Uh, um, the way that things have been kind of going, it's looking like we're rounding out to the end of your career. But you 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 started your career with this whole Nick Young incident, and couldn't leave team shit in the locker room, handle with the team, not going out, talking about it, public and shit. And you're doing it here later on in your life. Like, you didn't learn anything. Why do these players feel the need, active players, not past players, but active players, why do they feel the need to voice these concerns in this fashion? Even if things weren't being addressed in the team manner, I would love to ask, what does this do? Does, do you walk in the locker room and think that they're going to say, oh, you know what? We're going to start running more D-Lo pick and rolls. Like, is that what is that what you truly hope? What did you hope to get out of that? Hey, you. Ooh. You want to watch NBA games with your favorite NBA creators? Let's keep it a buck. Ooh. We have this thing called Playback TV. Go into your mobile app and type in Playback TV or go on your desktop and type in playback.tv slash LKIAB. The ball to match. You're talking about yeah. JF Kennedy <clears throat> era, bro. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm 23 years old. Because I'm telling you, you don't want to miss out on this extra content. Only on playback.tv.